Bros and bears, we need to talk. Let's say you're on Instagram, you're scrolling through, and you come across a video, a set of videos, nine to 10 videos, and you start reading. The caption says, pretty good day, I'm proud. It's not the meat that I wanted. No fucking shit. You know who has the meat that they want? The old guy who planned that this very meat that he is competing in is the last meat that he will ever compete in. He doesn't give a shit about his total. He just cares whether or not he's leaving the meat by his own free will or in an ambulance. That man, that woman, that, that, that lifter who is proud to have made it through a meet and retire is the only person out there who had a meet that they wanted. You know what you mean by, I didn't have the meat that I wanted, is I feel like I should be special. You didn't have the meat that you wanted. Why did you go one for three on squats? You missed depth on your second attempt, you went heavier, and you got stapled. It's not the meat that you wanted. You go two for three on bench. Your first bench was a grinder because you opened too big. Your second bench, Lord have mercy, somehow you got that up. And on your third attempt, you do half a bench, only the down part, not the meat that you wanted. And on deadlifts, you go three for three. And you say, I still had 50 pounds in the tank. No fucking shit, it's not the meat that you wanted. It is in no way the meat that you wanted. It is the meat that you deserve. You deserve to go six of nine. You put in shit work ethic in the gym, or you put in a shit plan on the platform. I went six for nine. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be honest. I'll go seven for nine, eight for nine, nine for nine, and it's not the meat that I wanted. You know why? Because I know that going three for three on something, I could have gone heavier, but I'm gonna be happy with the progress that I made. It's not the meat that I wanted. Let's talk about someone who didn't have a meat that they wanted. Let's go to February 20, 2021. Little known lifter known as Dan Bell squats. 1102.3, benches, 600.7, and deadlifts, 903 pounds, giving a total of 2606.9. Set the world record total, is that the meat that he wanted? Two months later, he competes at the Kern US Open. He increases his squat world record. He is one deadlift away from resetting the total world record. Did his meet two months previously, was that the meat that he wanted? That's the thing. We are powerless. We are by nature selfish and power hungry. We will do anything in our power to become stronger. And if we prove that we are stronger than what we are portrayed, we want more. You go nine for nine. It's not the meat that you want. You don't want to go nine for nine. You want to go nine for nine, but you don't want to go nine for nine. It's hypocrisy at its finest. We are our strongest on meat day. The only sport where we are actually performing at our maximum potential on the day in which we are performing. Meet them. Pull your fist out of your ass. Not a single lifter out of retirement has the meat that they wanted. Every single lifter out there, young, old, legend, gets the meat that they deserve. We are inherently Icarus. We want to fly as close to the sun as possible without all of our ligaments snapping off of our bones. We do not get the choice to have the meat that we want. We do not get to decide what we lift. We lift what is capable of within our own bodies. We trained for this shit. If I had the meat that I wanted, I'd be number one in the world every single time that I compete. But every single time that I'll compete and I'm number one, it won't be the meat that I want. There is no winning in this sport. You will never have the meat that you want. You will never be special because, well, maybe you want this meat to go special for you, but, you're not special. Science has proven this over and over again. Go look up the prolepins chart because lifters make progress on this. You are not special, but maybe you are. You just didn't have the meat that you wanted. Shut the fuck up. Stop caring about what your mom thinks because you're not disappointing anyone by not having the meat that you wanted. The only person you've disappointed is your parents by assuming that you are special and that you deserve whatever you want because wake up call, no. That's not how life works. Powerlifting is going to the, be the bitch in your life that will turn everything to hell at any given moment. You don't train to be the strongest on the platform. You train for the worst possible scenario on the platform. You train to not have the meat that you want because you're never gonna have it.